This is Dedal RV from China. I can't give you a, uh, a cost for this because it's not available in Europe and I can't give you a cost for it in China uh, because I don't know what it is. But uh, have a look inside because this is totally different from anything else uh, we have here in, in Europe and I think the United States as well. Uh, somewhat odd in its uh, design but uh, they brought, possibly brought the most luxurious things uh, to, for us to see. Uh, so this has got a rear toilet as you can see. Now many of the um, uh, that much m much of the equipment as we've seen it before, it's like from companies like Fedford, Dometic, um, right here, Panasonic toilet. Well, we've got Panasonic toilets in uh, in RVs in Europe that I've seen. Uh, it does come with a washing machine as well. It's a washing machine down here, and uh, lots of people ask for washing machines, and so I suppose that's a positive thing. Uh, a mirror with a light. Uh, do notice though it's got very steamed up in here the fan is on now either a somebody's been using it to wash in and they've cleaned themselves up very well but forgot about the mirror or there's another reason for it like that nice uh, sink okay right so side but side bed here with the bits that come down that's a nice spot of innovation I like that the bed can be bigger or smaller in fact, a friend of mine is a really good designer. I'm going to bring him in here and I'm going to mention this to him. Um, storage, okay. Oh dear, I think they I can see that hinge breaking in no time. Uh, uh, quite deep. Uh, obviously, they've been copying us on some things, but they've got wasted space in the corner. Uh, here we have the wardrobe and, yep, they've still got to find out the advantages well, something a bit wrong there. Uh, they still forgot to find out the advantages, or let you learn the advantages of having no bottom in a wardrobe when it's above a bed. Uh, table looks a bit as though I built it. And, uh, but look at that television up there. Isn't that unusual? And so the part of the bed becomes a television. So we've got lots of other things that do look as though a bit, a bit uh, in some ways, a bit homemade. Um, uh, the microwave up here, the Chinese noted for their uh, cooking ability, but there is no proper kitchen in here. What have we got? We've got a sink, we've got a microwave. Presumably the battery is uh, strong enough to take the uh, electricity because they have covered the roof I think in solar panels something like I can't remember what it was now but it was a huge amount it was 1300 watts or something like that um, got an enormous freezer enormous freezer and a microwave so what does that suggest they're eating maybe China's losing its uh, position as number one or no normally thought to be number one for culinary in the world Actually, I wouldn't put China in number one myself, but then again, I haven't been to China. Uh, I do go to the Chinese restaurant and when I'm in London, Wong Kai, there's a quick plug for it. But, uh... Okay, that's going to be a bit... For, for, um, captain's chair on one side, but not on the other. Note, note the position of the brake, obviously it's an Iveco, so made in Italy. I think it's made in Italy. I don't know if Iveco makes in China. Oh, first class seat. Uh, yeah, that, that, that is unusual. This will go backwards and forwards with the electri electronically. And you've got a bit of space here so you can get a, a more of a reclining position. Um, there are European uh, companies doing things like this, uh, but not to that extent. <laughs> so that really is uh, unusual. It's, it's got this real mix here from this luxury to this over here which looks like something I rigged up uh, <laughs> in a couple of minutes uh, it's it's really it's odd uh, we've got the problems with the uh, ventilation in the bathroom for example uh, and then you've got this ma this magnificent TV screen up here uh, all very unusual 
Uh, now, I'm not going to touch the TV screen, but I'm going to show you around here. And there's the space under the uh, under the cab. There's two windows at either side up front. Oh, all right, so there's your electronics. Please do not use air conditioning when driving. But it has got an air conditioner, so I'm, uh, I'm, I, I think they've put a stack of batteries to make 600 ampere hours or something in, in here. Um, oh, we've got this rather unfortunate, um, doesn't even, that doesn't look very Chinese to me as well. Uh, an unfortunate bit of decoration, I would have to say. Right, kitchen extension. And where's the kitchen? You know, kitchen extension when you're cooking with a microwave, that's something you really certainly would want. And uh, outdoor uh, storage. Presumably that is for the kitchen, which is here, look. The kitchen comes down here so the kitchen pulls out in this position and you have to actually cook from down here well that might work this however i think this is a pretty good idea this uh, now with the table i mean there are european companies that have also done things like this so it's not it's not it's not the first time here we've got here all domestic electricity is supplied by 48 volt lithium iron uh, phosphate battery in addition to being powered by solar power and charging by the front car generator it can also connect to a 220 volt charging. Okay, so times that by 12, and you've got the uh, approximate in uh, in um, ampere hours, amp amps. The roof is equipped with 1,050 watts monocrosstain silicon mo silicon hard panels, solar panels. The highest can be configured to 1,020 ultra strong endurance, sufficient sunlight to meet daily electricity needs okay the english is not uh, uh not superb uh, but it's much better than my chinese and there is oh somebody's done a, a journey from Wutsen, okay through kazakhstan uh through actually it's not quite right uh irkutsk Krasnoyarsk, it's it, actually it's not Krasnoyarsk is to the east of Irkutsk, but never mind. Uh, Novosibirsk, Omsk, Tumen, Yekaterinburg, Kazan, Moscow, St. Peter's, Helsinki, Rovaniemi, Inari, Nord, Nordkap, then down through Sweden to Turin via Germany and Denmark. There you are, scan to visit us. Thetford, there's a Thetford uh, toilet. Although it said Panasonic there, I don't know, just let's have a quick look at this one, I think. I can't, it's locked. Um, okay. There you go. Uh, Dedal RV. And it's not the only one they've got. They've got a couple more here. And uh, the width, length is what? Six, about 640 maybe, something like that. And uh, so it's cross Eurasia, journey 20. 23. I'd love to do that, but I know now after what's happened, I won't go to Russia until it's until it's liberated. Uh, pity, I really love the Russia, but anyway, anyway, that point, that's not a subject to discuss uh, here in this video. So there you go. There's a Dedal RV. I'll try and get in the others, but because they're so odd, there's stacks of people in both of the other two. Uh, I did film this one here though yesterday with my mate Andy uh, Andy Harris uh, who runs the company Pro, Road Pro in the UK and uh, so hopefully you'll find that uh, relatively amusing and uh, but for the moment thanks for watching all the best from me in Dusseldorf showing you the most unusual vehicle you will see this year